hello beautiful people welcome back to zalim fashion my name is adorian de Cabiras. please if you are new here don't forget to hit the subscribe button like comment and share and if you're a returning subscriber thanks so much for tuning in so today i'm going to be teaching you how i made this beautiful two piece so without further ado let's dive right into our video First of all, I'm going ahead to mark half inches, which is serve as my waistline. So I marked half inches, then connected my lines like so. The next thing I'm going to be doing is I'll be taking my waist to hips measurement, which is nine inches. I marked nine inches, then I went ahead to to mark the length of my skirt, which is 15 inches. So I marked 15 inches, then I went ahead to connect my lines like so so after connecting my lines i went ahead to take my waist measurement so my waist measurement is 6.5 inches plus one inches for that so the next thing i'm going to be doing is i'll be taking my hips measurement divided by four which is 36 divided by four i took nine inches then i went ahead to subtract my waist measurement by one so i marked eight inches there then i went ahead to connect my lines like so i connected my waist to my hips then i used a straight ruler to connect like so so when i was done doing that i went ahead to determine my dart which is your nipple to nipple divided by two mine is eight divided by two that's four inches so i marked four inches then i came down by about five inches so i went ahead to mark five inches then i used a straight ruler to connect it like so after doing that so i went ahead to mark half inches on both sides then connected it like so so after you're done connecting i went down by half inches on the waistline to reduce any bulges on the waist then i went ahead to connect it like so so now that i'm done doing that i'm going ahead to take one inches for my aiming allowance so i marked one inches then went i had to connect it like so so on the sides i went i had to take half half inches on the waist on the hips and on the aim then i went i had to connect it using my my curve then I went ahead to use my ruler to straighten it up like so. So now I'm going ahead to take half inches on my waistline, half, half inches allowance on my waistline. Then I went ahead to connect it like so. So after connecting like so, I went ahead to cut it out on so mind you i didn't cut out the waistline because i'll be needing it for the back because i don't need to go down by half inches for the back i hope you understand what i'm saying so the back i'm just going to be marking one inches all through then i'm going to connect it using a straight trailer so after doing that i'm just going to place my front piece directly on top of that line just place it on top of that line like so then you're going to go ahead to cut it out so now this is what it looks like after cutting it out mind you the front is definitely lower on the waist than the back because in the front we went down by half inches but for the back we didn't go down by half inches on the waistline our back is straight but our front is not 
very straight it has like some bulges that was why we went down by half inches so now we are going ahead to draft the upper part which is the top so the crop top so now what you're going to do is you have to determine how low you want your off um how low you want your top to be so in my case i want it to be about six inches low so and i need 13 inches so i placed and my measurements will start from six inches so that was why i placed that six inches there then marked 13 inches then i went ahead to draw a straight line so after doing that i'm going ahead so still place that six inches all our measurement is starting from six inches so i'm marking my arm hole which is eight inches then i'm going ahead to take my bust measurement divided by four then my waist measurement divided by four then i'm going ahead to connect it like so so now that i'm done connecting i just went ahead to mark seven inches it depends on how firm you want to you want it to be you could make it six inches but i made it seven inches and i went i had to draw a curve then i gave it like a sweet art kind of shape like so i used the curve to give it that sweet art kind of shape then i went i had to take half inches seam allow and sewing allowance on the sides then i connected it like so then i went i had to take one inches hemming allowance then i can i went ahead to cut it out so now that we are done cutting out the front i went ahead to fold another piece of paper for the back then drew one inches all through for the zip allowance because i'll be using a zip for this also then i connected it like so then placed my front piece directly on top of it then i went i had to cut it but I didn't give the back piece a sweetheart neck, a sweetheart neck shape. So I just went ahead to cut my back piece into two. So now I'm going ahead to cut out the facing for the front piece. I just folded my fabric into two, then placed my front print, my front piece on top. Then I pinned it down. Then I went ahead to cut it out so this is the facing for the front piece we have this which is the main piece then this is our facing which we are going to be sewing around so for the back piece also i went ahead to fold my fabric then i placed my back piece on top then i went ahead to cut it out so for the back piece we are going to have two pieces of facing because we also have two piece of the main um back piece so i hope you understand what i'm saying so now we are just going to sew it up to the armhole as you can see so sew it up from that point to the armhole so then i went ahead to cut out the strap i'll be needing like 15 inches for the strap because i'll be using about half inches to sew it up so i marked 15 inches for the strap then i went i had to cut it out so mind you i'll be needing four pieces for the strap so i'm going to sew up the sides of both strap then i'm going to turn it outside so now i went ahead to draft my bow you can just it's it all depends on you i just took a piece of fabric then formed my own kind of bow shape that i want so i drafted two pieces of that so i'll be able to join it together to make it a longer piece i'll just join it together so now this is what my front piece looks like after sewing up 
the facing of the front this is our front and for the back this is what it looks like after sewing sewing it up with our facing so i'm just going to go ahead to place it on top of the front piece I'm going to place the, the back on top of the front piece. Then I'm going ahead to sew it up by the sides by half inches. So now that we are done doing that, this is what it looks like. All I just did, I went ahead to put the strap inside. I opened up a part that I want it to be then i inserted my strap also for the bow i just went ahead to cut um a piece of fabric then give it the kind of design i wanted then tied my bow so now i'm just going to go ahead to insert my zip for the for the crop top and that is all for that so for the skirt, I'm just going ahead to sew up my darts for the front and back. So after sewing up my darts, I'm just going to go ahead to place my back piece on top of my front piece, like so. So after placing my back piece on top of the front piece i'm just going to go ahead to mark because there's going to be a slit on one side so i'm just going to go ahead to mark about five inches where the slit will stop start from so i'm going to sew by half inches up to that point and i'm going to sew this all through so now this is what it looks like this is the five inches i left and the other side is sewn all through and I went ahead to aim the waist. So now, what I did was, I, I also sewed up some parts. Then the remaining parts, I'll be using it for my zip at the back. So now I went ahead to insert my zip. Then this is what our end product looks like. Please, if you enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to keep watching. That's the only way you can support me. That's the only way you can grow. So, um, to see more of these amazing videos, please hit that subscribe button. See you in my next video. Bye.